What's up guys, this is Alan from OC Nerf and today for uh, no real particular reason at all I decided to get all geared up. So I've got my uh, gloves on for this review just because it goes with everything else. I've got my tactical vest on, I've got my little Valentine uh, side holster here, and I've got a little rifle sling in the back. None of that has anything to do with this video, I just thought I'd get geared up for you guys today. So today what we're going to be going ahead and doing is we're going to do an unboxing and review of this. This is the um, Busby Ultratech Air Warriors Brute. I probably got the naming scheme backwards at some point, but that's what this is. This is uh, in Busby's uh, 2015 line, uh, or as I like to call it, the year Busby redeemed themselves. Uh, this is the line where uh, they put out range claims of 72 feet and actually hit or exceeded those range claims. This is the Brute. This is the blaster that is a direct comparison to Nerf's Rapid Strike. This is a fully automatic flywheel blaster, um, relatively comparable in size. And uh, we have um, the typical color scheme that came with the uh, Sentinel, which I've got slung in the back here, which is kind of the white and gray and blue color scheme. Um, we've got the Air Warriors logo on here, done pretty nicely this time. And uh, again, with the stickers here, um, we'll get into more of the details of the blaster once we get it out of the box. So let's complete uh, taking a look at the box. We've got the range claims, as I mentioned here, the name of the blaster here, and on the back. We can see the operation of this blaster. It's pretty straightforward and simple. We go ahead and put the batteries in there, which I've got four double A's just geared up and ready for this. Um, and then we put in the darts, put the magazine in, pull the trigger, and fire. So this is a two-stage trigger. Uh, similar to other things in Busby's line. Um, the two-stage trigger basically means you pull it a little bit and you get the flywheels going, you pull it all the way and it starts to do the dart feeding. So this runs off of, as it mentioned on the box, four triple A's in, uh, in comparison to the Rapid Strike 6C batteries. So this is going to be a lighter blaster by comparison. Um, doesn't really matter because at the end of the day they're all getting rewired anyhow. And if you're going to run IMRs, this is just going to make things that much easier for you, as it's uh, already ready to go with double A's. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get this out of the box, which it looks pretty straightforward. It's just like the Sentinel, um, which you can just kind of undo this way and pop it open. Um, so just kind of pop that. Do the same thing here. Same thing here. And the blaster is free. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, in this open packaging box. Uh, again, with a open packaging box, you do run the risk of other kids or customers in the store playing with it, but this is a flywheel blaster, guys, so there's really nothing to prime, especially without any batteries, so no harm, no foul with an open face packaging of this kind. Um, then we have a 20, I believe. I want to say, yep. 20 suction darts with a 20 dart clip, the yellow uh, magazine from Busby, which is compatible with most end strike blasters. And uh, we have the darts, which, ha, huh, there's no easy way to get the darts without a knife. I didn't think we were going to get to use this today. I was wrong. So. Let's see, what's the best way to just break into a box? Can you see this on camera? Just thought it'd be a little silly today. And the box gave up. Alright, so we got our darts. 20 of these uh, gray and green. Um, what do they call these? Uh, extra range darts? But they're pretty much the suction cup elite 
uh, comparison darts. So, comparable darts, sorry, not comparison. Words can be hard. There we go. So, for my unboxing videos, <coughs> I use a Spartan sword. I try to keep it as sharp as I can, but this is a carbon, fire, uh, carbon steel. Um, and I don't have all the necessary tools. I've got tools to sharpen my smaller knives, but that's what I use. Uh, what do you guys use for unboxings? All right, so we've got our darts here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up a Elite Dart comparison. I've done this already in a Sentinel video, but just so you can see, this is the Elite Dart. It's about the same size, same thickness, and Buzzbee, just like my Elite video, pointed this out, and it's still true. Look at all of that fun glue. Does that focus right? Look at all that fun glue. Typical Buzzbee, typical. You haven't changed that yet. You really should. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, load this up. And then we are going to be putting the batteries in. Okay, so we've got the magazine all loaded up. Now we got to go and explore the blaster. And this is the brute. This is the back side of the brute. This is the front side of the brute, the display side. So let's talk about this nice display side for a minute before we get to the back. So at the front, we've got this nice decorated orange tip. I'm not going to start talking about things that other brands don't have. So I'm not going to say that this, being a Busby blaster, doesn't have an end strike clip. I think that's ridiculous. This is not the same brand. This is not Nerf. This is Busby. And I'm going to stay true to that in my reviews. So this is a really nice textured and um, decorated uh, front uh, front end here. You can see inside and you can see the white flywheels in there. And we've got uh, this being where the motor is housed for the front flywheels. We've got a nice decoration here at the top. It doesn't look to be any kind of uh, iron sights of any kind. This could be, but that's a really strange looking iron sight. And we have, I really like the way they've done this logo. Um, it's printed on there. It's not a sticker. It's really printed on there. This I can do, do away with. Um, there doesn't seem to be any way to get at the darts if there was any kind of jam. So I'm hoping what that means is Busby trusts their product that it doesn't jam. Uh, in the case it does, then I guess we'll have to figure that one out ourselves. Um, the back here is a non-adjustable stock of reasonable length. I think it could be maybe an inch or two longer, but in comparison to like the Sentinel, which I've got slung behind me here, this is actually pretty reasonable length um, for the blaster. Uh, two more inches would have been awesome. I think that would have been more in line with um, uh, a body type, of, uh, my body type. But again, if this was for kids, this works out really nicely. We've got this ginormous extended area here for the pusher um, motors. My guess is the way they've got this designed is the pusher motors are going perhaps uh, horizontally rather than more uh, vertically. Uh, we'll know when we open this up and find out. Up here we've got a nice little um, uh, grip that we can kind of hold onto while we shoulder our blaster. So overall the ergonomics is pretty awesome. Um, this handle, as typical with Busby, is still small. I think you can make a bigger handle, Busby, that won't be alienating to us adults. I realize that this is a good child's market, but this is really, really small. In comparison to what a good handle looks like, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this. This is the uh, X-Shot Rapid Fire. The X-Shot Rapid Fire is a really awesome, thick, chunky handle, but it's not too thick that it, I feel like it would be alienating for children. Now, comparing that to this size, 
I think you should go with something more like this. Give me something more to hold on to. Um, the length, my pinky goes over it, and the girth is a joke. So, uh, I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, the trigger pull, as expected with a two-stage trigger, is long. So there's the first stage and second stage. And we have our typical um, push-button mag release for all of the Busby line. The batteries, I believe, will be going in this area over here, so it's held in by one Phillips screw, which we're going to go open up, and we'll put in our four um, AA batteries. But other than that, I really like the detailing of this blaster, if you guys can see it. So it's got a lot of texture, very sci-fi feel. I really dig that. And on the other side, even with that big, ginormous, bulky um, motor cage area, it's still pretty nice and well decorated. Nice job, Busby. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open and put the batteries in. Okay, so we've got the batteries into the root, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger, and you can hear the flywheels revving, and maybe you'll be able to see it in there. Let's go ahead and put that really close to the camera. So the flywheels have a nice rev up speed, now we're going to be able to see the pusher mechanism here, and I'm going to do half pull, and you're going to hear the flywheels rev, but you won't see the pusher. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull it all the way, first half stage so you can hear the flywheels rev up, then we'll go ahead and pull it all the way so we can see the pusher. There we go. Um, so that being said, all we got to do now is we have to put this magazine in here and uh, give it a little firing demonstration at our uh, tech target over there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that set up, and then we'll do it on uh, game three, which is going to give us some points, and then we will be able to uh, compare the uh, results of the firing demonstration. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, we've got the tech target set up, and what I'm going to be going and doing is shooting it with the 20 rounds that it comes with in the magazine. I'm going to be shooting... Uh, 10 of them with as much accuracy as I can and then the last 10 as fast as I can And then I've also got 10 of the elite darts here Which I will be running through just for comparison's sake to see how well it does So as always we're going to do this from about 20 feet and uh, we'll be aiming as close to dead center as possible So hopefully we'll hit it Okay, so I tried to uh, single that, but it looked like it was getting some dart slippage, uh, even with their own darts, so I just went ahead and sprayed it with both the uh, elites and the um, uh, 
what do they call these? These long range darts. I didn't get through all of the uh, end strike ones. I've got a little issue with some darts in there. So that was not Busby's boot's fault. That was the magazine in my darts. So I'll have to uh, address that issue, but that's irrelevant to this test. We'll go back to the review. All right, guys, and we're back. That was the uh, accuracy test for the Brute. And as you can see, the dart stick is still working. We've got a couple more darts that are still stuck up there. And um, we had some issues when we were firing this at full auto, and it was doing some dart slippage. If, I don't know if you could hear it from where I was standing, but there was definitely feeding issues. It would push the darts, and I could hear it spinning. The flywheels were catching it, and then it wasn't exactly doing anything. Some of them shot really funny because of that. Uh, so I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Um, I'm wondering if it's the quality of the darts. I did shoot some elites through here and they did go through, but they also had similar issues with the dart slippage. And now as I'm looking into the flywheel here, I can see some pieces of darts stuck to the flywheel. There's a little piece there, I don't know if you guys can see it. The bottom flywheel has that little gray piece there. So something's going on with that I'm not sure what it is again it could be the darts it could be something else something that Busby does with their flywheels is they've got ridges on them and I'm not sure if those ridges are catching in a really bad way when it's trying to feed these darts through uh, that being said my initial firing demonstration which uh, I had to retake was with uh, the batteries that I put in here weren't exactly up to par so I'm gonna go ahead and show you again how fast the uh, a rate of fire is of that pusher since I want to have it get a fair comparison. I think that's a much faster rate of fire than what I had earlier so that was my mistake of putting in batteries that I thought were still okay and clearly they weren't um, and I noticed that in my initial uh, firing demonstration. So let's go through my overall opinion about this. For a blaster that cost me about $13, which it was on sale, uh, so originally I believe these are $20, $20 retail, so for a $20 retail full auto blaster that runs off of four AA batteries and comes with 20 darts and a 20 mag, I think that's a really good deal. I'm not 100% sure if I just have a bad product with that dart slippage, but I haven't seen anybody else experience that kind of dart slippage as I have. Um, so I will find out and uh, see if it's just me or if perhaps it is something to do with this model that uh, I have. So um, that being said, it's a really easy and straightforward to use. The trigger pull is responsive. Uh, the rate of fire is definitely reasonable on par with what I feel is on par with the rapid strike. So this is uh, a really good pickup for $20, a really cheap alternative to the Rapid Strike if you're looking for a full auto blaster. Uh, the ergonomics are really good, minus the small handle, everything else feels just fine. There's always room for improvement, but I really can't complain about anything on the ergonomics end. Um, and the performance, when it actually did shoot a dart, is pretty solid. It was hitting really hard. The darts do stick, so that's a fun little feature and they were staying fairly accurate in other tests I've been doing with this. Um, and the blaster, because it's running so light, is also a really easy to carry blaster. Uh, plus the extra rounds that you get with this is pretty awesome too. The fact that it's cross compatible is also really great. So uh, that's my review of the Brute. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, I hope you like and subscribe this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Nerf on everybody.